Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. And welcome back to Smitty Reacts. Now, on this video, we're going to check out some more music from GG Vibes. Yeah, GG Vibes back on the channel. Um, definitely have appreciated everything I've seen from her so far. And um, this one came by request uh, to check out her cover of a Nat King Cole classic. Um, this one's called Love. Um, probably like one of the most famous love songs written in the last, you know, what, 100 years, <laughs> you know, and it's a really straightforward song and stuff. But that being said, I know how Gigi and her band like to, you know, take liberties with a song and reimagine it and recreate it and so forth. So I'm definitely here to check it out. So before I hit start on this thing, of course, please like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff helps my little channel grow. Um, we're on our way to almost uh, um, 10,000 subscribers at this point in time. Um, I think we're about, shoot, maybe 40 off from that right now. And you know what? I'm just going to go on a little marathon of videos. <laughs> going back to my back catalog as well as like uh, checking out new stuff as well. So just kind of watch that out on the channel. If you're new su to subscribing here, um, just to let you know how the channel is kind of set up. is um, I, I'm all over the place. Like I don't necessarily have... A format per se but I do like listening to music so you know I'm all across the genre spectrum you know what I'm saying like rap hip-hop R&B classical music um, R&B you know whatever it is like show it my way you know what I'm saying drink theater I went to the drink theater show which was amazing um, a few months back you know all that stuff so you know if you guys are a fan of music follow me on my journey you know and um, just kind of see where I'm going and of course if you have suggestions let me know um, IG right now is the best place to hit me at um, at smitty underscore reacts on my IG um, just shoot me a message on there uh, and of course leave comments over here too I do read all my comments yeah uh, but sometimes like Going back to my backlog of comments is a thing. So at any rate, IG is less congested right now. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. Let me go ahead and start on this thing. Uh, this is uh, uh, GG Vibes. GG Delana, that's her name. Uh, GG Vibes is the band. Uh, Nat King Cole, love. Let's get it. Okay. 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 Was made for me and you. Pause right here. I definitely like the more kind of like kind of more jazzy approach to this song, you know, and the way that she's taking her time, you know, just kind of going through the first part of this song as well. The way they kind of like are, are just, you know, kind of extending the verses a little bit, you know, and her voice just fits perfectly with this, where it's definitely that kind of more kind of more. I don't want to, yeah, I guess I could say that. It's more of a throwback kind of vibe on this one, where it's that kind of lounge singer, you know, smoky room, piano, small, small, intimate, you know, <laughs> uh, venue kind of feel to it, you know, like, there's a spot out here called the um, Green Lady Lounge out here in Kansas City, and um, it kind of gives me those kind of vibes, where you could come in, like, any night of the week, and there's going to be some kind of live band there that's really good, talented quartet or or sextet or whatever it is you know saying sometimes even a trio you know and they'll be putting on like you know covers of songs like this and you know it's the regular cocktail kind of bar you know what i'm saying it's dark setting you know really moody you got waitresses walking around grabbing your orders and so forth grab you know you have little cocktail drinks and it's just you and your friends just vibing out to a good man you know what i'm saying like that's the kind of feel i get you know when i'm listening to this take of of uh love by gg vibes here you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm definitely digging the the feel with it so Granted, 
this song's like, shoot, this video's about seven minutes, so I'm assuming they're going to, like, you know, transition to the other parts or that sort of thing. But I just want to see what they do. So I'm going to rewind just a little bit, and uh, we'll get back in. Let's go. Okay. Was made for me and you. Okay. It's gonna pause to appreciate my man's uh, shirt back here. Sorry. <laughs> also. I, I know I paused during the solo. Again, apologize. Let me rewind back a little bit. Come on, do it on the keys he deserves that respect. Let's get it. Okay. right there so yeah you know, see, see that nice little transition you know what i'm saying and i like the way he used the keyboard to kind of emphasize that transition right there he did the slide you know what i'm saying and then it picked up to the up tempo you know kind of cadence here like definitely liking that but i'm liking the, the the pocket that they're in too like between the bass player the the drummer here and the keyboardist like they're really doing good and you got the lead guitar just kind of filling in that melody you know what i'm saying like the, their band is really good you know what i'm saying i like the fact that they're there and it's kind of that chill type of vibe to this take and then the, the the good thing with this song too is like it's pretty much a rinse and repeat. Like it's not a lot of there's not a lot of wordplay involved. It's not really dense lyrics or anything like that. It's just a really straightforward love song. You know, talking about love is made for me and you. You know, like basically talking about you know you and I should be in love. <laughs> you know, or if we're in it, this is like what it feels like. You know what I'm saying? Or should feel should feel like I should say. You know, but I like the way that she's embodying the lyrics here, and this is what I think about you know covers the songs and reimagining the songs is it gives you a chance to really re-experience the song again for the first time where you're like oh that's what the lyrics meant or that's what the wordplay was talking about or this is why certain things happened but when you hear it you know reimagined it just kind of refreshes your perspective on the song and and maybe even changes it a little bit depending on how it is so definitely liking this you know what i'm saying okay i'm rewinding a little bit back we'll bump back we'll jump back in it let's go oh, Woo. Definitely like her voice, look. Okay. The guitar solo. Let's go, boy.
okay? Pause right there. Ooh, I like her scatting right there. Here's the thing I love about scatting, though, for real, for real, is like when you get somebody that that it's is good at it. You know what I'm saying? And you can kind of pick out the scaling that they're doing. You know, like because typically, like in my brain, when I'm listening to scat, um, or or people kind of taking like like doing ad libs or whatever it is. Like honestly, what they're maybe imagining in their head is a certain instrument type. You know, so like it could be a trumpet that they're thinking about. And like, okay, if I was playing a trumpet, what would I do? You know, or or a trombone or or whatever the you know different instrument might be. You know, but you're kind of basically kind of going in there. Even a clarinet, you know what I'm saying? Like, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not good at that. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they're just kind of like using their voice as a way to emulate the instrument, you know, and then using that as a, a as a way to like kind of fill in along with your bandmates and stuff like that. But that's why I've always like appreciated scat and that sort of thing, just from an artistic point of view, because it's like you're, you're doing more than just singing at that point. You're basically using your voice, um, as of what it's intended for. Like, it's really your voice is your, is honestly the world's first instrument. It, it really is. Like, our, our instrument and any instrument that we ever have created <laughs> has basically been a way to, like, imitate the voice or versions of the voice. And then over time, it became exa exaggerated versions of the voice. That's why you have bass instruments. You have, you know, higher tier instruments and so forth, you know. But scat to me is, like, almost like the original instrument. If, if that makes sense to you, outside of singing and so forth. But I've always liked a good scat artist that's able to like really put it together. That said, I have heard some bad scat in my life. <laughs> Sometimes it don't come together like it should. But long story short, you know, Gigi really doing that thing right here. So I'm gonna rewind back a little bit. I think they got another uh, tempo change that I might have heard there, but I'm gonna rewind just a little bit, get back into like kind of the middle of her, her verse and we'll just roll back to, to the next piece. So, all right, let's go. <laughs> And the range, that's what I'm saying. The range is good. Okay. How they doing it? How they doing it? Oh, they're gonna jazz it up all the way. Up tempo. Yes, 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 yes. So good. Just again. So, yo, give it up for GG vibes right there, man. GG and the crew did another one. That last note was amazing. Like, her sustain and the, the way that she has so much great breath control and, and diaphragm control to be able to hold those notes and project. 
And I love the way that she is aware of her microphone. You know what I'm saying? Like, speaking of microphone, I noticed we're using the same mic, Gigi. You know, we got good taste. <laughs> but, you know, the way that she's able to, like, use her projection and the way she pulls away, you know, so she's not blowing out everybody, you know, while she's, you know, hitting those notes, or, you know, belting it out, as it were. But I like that. You know, she's a smart singer, very aware of her, of her instrument, you know, as being the voice, as well as, you know, being able to control the microphone and really do her thing. Now, as far as the, the band, like, we already know the band is, is crazy back here. Like, this is a more, traditionally a more stripped down song, as it were, you know, and other people, of course, have covered this over the, the years. But they're taking it as fresh. Like it's really cool, fresh. And the, I like the way that they start slow, kind of take their time with it. And then you turn this into the, the middle part of the song. You have your little solos and stuff in there, interject a little bit of creativity in. And then at the very end, you, you up tempo it up to like the more kind of more contemporary speed, you know, where you're hearing like the kind of up tempo swing, you know, they're kind of going back and forth with each other, really kind of going to the pockets and have another little like mid solo in there. And then you, you wrap it up with, you know, a little bit of scat and a lot of bit of soul, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I think Nat King Cole, like if he was around to hear this version, like, I think he would appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I think he would like it, um, which is all you can really ask for. If you don't want to cover, um, obviously you want the fans to enjoy it. But if you're thinking about the original artists that put it together and the composers, like you'd almost want to do them proud too, because it's like, you know, this is an interpretation of their song and, you know, just the way that it's influenced future generations like bands like this and other artists that have ever you know endeavored to do a cover so definitely appreciate Gigi's vibes <laughs> Gigi's vibes and gg vibe you know the band so yeah they did a great job here so all right y'all my name is marvin this is smitty reacts i'm gonna get about this video so please until the next one take care of yourself be kind to one another and if you guys can do all that i will definitely catch you in the next video all right all right. Peace.